And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. And a, 11 years ago, a wonderful game came out called King of Tokyo, designed by Richard Garfield of Robo Rally and Magic the Gathering fame. This game took off in its own right, and then there was a 10th year anniversary edition, which actually never happened. Well, kind of, sort of. That's what we're talking about today, the King of Tokyo Monster Box. Now, this is the second edition of King of Tokyo. This is the newest one. This box has everything that's in that in it. So if you already bought this, this can be kind of a tough sell for you because there's extra stuff in this box. In fact, there's exclusive stuff in this box that you can get nowhere else. I don't know what to tell you about that. You can sell this one to some sucker and then buy this one. It's a little confusing. And what this video is, is I'm just showing you what's in here. Now, if you don't have King of Tokyo, then huzzah, this is a great way. This one comes with the base game. It comes with two of the expansions and then comes with, like I said, a little bit of exclusive stuff in it. So this video is basically just going to be showing you what's inside the box. What's in the box, man? Here we go. All right, we have an advertisement for the Monster Packs, which honestly, folks, are really worth it. All four of these Monster Packs are fantastic, and it boggles my mind that they don't have like 30 of them that exist. Then inside here is a very big rule book that goes over all the different stuff in the game, including the different rules and stuff for the expansions, which aren't that much. So we have the King of Tokyo board. Here's one of the things this comes with, a dice tray. All right, you're not missing out if you don't get this. It's fine. Um, you may have to glue it together. I found that it comes apart a little easily. And then this is what it's in the game. You have a spot to put all the different monsters in here. So we have Mecha Dragon, Cyber Kitty, Space Penguin, Gigazar, Alienoid, Boogie Woogie, who's from one of the expansions, Pumpkin Jack, Panda Kai, this is the new exclusive one, Baby Gigazar and The King. This is not new artwork. As you can see, this is the one from the original game. It's pretty much exactly the same. Then you have spots here for your cards. So you have all the cards from the base game, as well as some of the stuff from the these costumes. One of those things I never really understood about King of Tokyo. But then again, it's all about silliness. So, baby, we have these power-up cards, and if you never play with these folks, these change the game a lot. They add so much more interesting things in King of Tokyo, ways to upgrade each of the different uh, monsters. In fact, if a monster comes out, and there are many, many monsters out there for King of Tokyo, uh, exclusives all over the place, if they don't have this stuff in them, it feels a little bit like, oh, man, I wish it did. Baby Gigazar here can take one of the power-up cards and reserve them. Monsters that have more stars than you have to get them to you. You can change two dice you roll to ones. So this is kind of cool. I was a little... I wondered that they didn't add the stuff that they added in the King of Tokyo Night Edition a little bit more, but anyhow. Uh, we got these. Now, in some sets of King of Tokyo, these are little lightning bolts, which I think is better. And I'm surprised they didn't make the lightning bolts for these. You have tokens. I put them in here. They're supposed to go in here. But as you all know, putting tokens in these is just insanity. And then you got your dice. We got the two extra dice you can get from Evolutions. Your base dice. And then orange dice. These come with the Halloween expansion. And they're literally the same dice as the green or the black and green ones. They're just orange. Now that being said, having an extra set of dice is not a bad thing. So that's kind of cool. And you know what, folks? I'm, I'm done showing you stuff. That's, that's what's in this box. So, again, you're, you're not getting a whole lot of extra stuff in here. You're getting a new character with this, and you're getting the two expansions. And then there might be, and I haven't messed with this too much, I've made my own custom giant box for King of Tokyo. So, this isn't going to hold much more. You know, if you get those other monsters, you can put a couple in here, probably. And there's a room for a few more components in here than what's in already. But this is not really a great storage solution. So that's it, really. It's good. This is a good set if you've never played King of Tokyo before and you also want everything. It's a little odd. I would have thought this would have been a better set to come without the base game in it. And with these expansions, or maybe some new expansions, but room for the other ones. 
It just seems like this is an odd thing. And where are miniatures? I mean, come on, the game's been out for a decade. It's about giant monsters. You think miniatures would have showed up by now, just for people who want them. So this is okay. It's, again, if you went out and bought it, I really like King of Tokyo. So if you've never played it, you want to play it, and you can see my review of it on this channel if you want to see how the game plays. It's a fun Yahtzee-style monster versus monster game. Very entertaining. Lots of cool expansions, but this isn't set up to even put those extra monsters in, even though they advertise them in there. The box is a little small. It comes with exclusive content, which is going to irritate if you already own this and the expansions. That's going to be irritating, right? Because you now, you know, I don't know. I don't know who this is for other than new people who also want everything. It's just an odd mix to me. But there you go. That's what's in the King of Tokyo monster box. I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.